returned to practice for the first time this season last week. But the majority of starters returning on both sides of the ball from a team that finished third in the American Southwest Conference. The question is, can the Bulldogs take that next step in 2019? Our Andrew Seeley stopped by practice to get their thoughts on the upcoming season. Six and four in 2017, seven and three in 2018. So what does that mean for 2019? I think the expectations are higher. You know, uh, we just had a good year, uh, better than the, the season before, and I think we've got a lot of potential to uh, do even better this year. We're just bigger, stronger, faster, more determined, experienced. Ready to go, just ready to go. We already have the brotherhood and all that. There's some new things here and there, but for the most part, we've been doing the same thing for four years now. A large chunk of offensive starters returned from last season's unit that averaged 35 points per game. The question mark is at quarterback. Gone is two-year starter Kyle Grona, and in his place is a QB battle. Jarvis Brooks has some game experience. He played two games for us uh, last year, won both of those games. But we've got other guys that they want the job too. Uh, and so fall camp, that's, that's really kind of the main objective offensively. Who is going to win that job? Who's going to be that guy? We'll see how that goes. But not much anxiety about that because whoever that person is going to be, they're surrounded by a lot of experience. The defense also returns the majority of their unit, headlined by preseason All-Americans James Bell and Manny Longoria. That veteran leadership is already paying dividends. We're going fast. I'm in the meeting room. We hit the ground running. There's no slowness. So just us helping the coaches on the field, being that coach when the coaches can't coach. They understand what the expectation is. They kind of take pride in the TOU way, and they've taken these freshmen under their wing. Bulldogs' schedule this year is brutal. TLU will play four of the six best teams in the ASC in consecutive weeks. But the team isn't shying away from that challenge. This year is going to be different. They were really going to believe that we can beat those teams that we've had a hard time with in years past. We want to go to the playoffs this year. We always saying we number three in the conference. We want to be number one. We're not, we not letting up. We're not short nothing. We want to be number one. We want to go to the playoffs. For KSAT 12 Sports, I'm Andrew Seeley.